kicks off for the Baylor Bears, trying to win 12 games in a season for the first time in school history. Trey Brown lets it go, and it's a touchback. Okay. Hurts, quick throw near side. Very close to the first down, but not getting it. Charleston Rambo, who got popped along the near sideline. Brewer to pass, under pressure, spun around, and down he goes. Back at the 21-yard line. Ronnie Perkins, an emerging star. They went on his 21st birthday. On third and long, lots of time for Brewer, checks it down. Chris Dava Henley, the tight end, stopped at the 31. It's Kenneth Murray again with help from Nick Benito. Ball a lot here early. We look at his direction on first down. Jalen Hurts on target, missed tackle, and here goes Lamb across midfield. Still going inside the 20 and finally taken down inside the 10-yard line by Henry Black game and pulled out the victory at Baylor with his legs. He carried 27 times. He handed it off here, and it's a touchdown for Kennedy Brooks. Footballing. He needs the football. Here's Kennedy Brooks breaking free again across midfield with a first down to the Baylor 45-yard line. Back up that he was working on it. Creed Humphrey got the better of that one. Oklahoma gets to the line quickly. Hurts down the middle. Open man! C.D. Lamb again inside the 20. Jalen Hurts, three-man rush, and they get there. James Lockhart first. All three of them there, Lynch and Roy. That is their 21st sack this year. When First of all, it takes two guys to block Roy. That's going to leave single blocking out here. Lockhart working on Proctor, and he gets there first. And those three defensive linemen, they're old, they're mature, they're all physical. There's Gabe Burkich, the only kicker in the country who hasn't missed a kick. Field goals and extra points combined. And the freshman is still perfect. Third and ten. That's a little better than their third down average. A blitz from deep. And the throw is incomplete. Larry and Turner Yell came on the blitz. The pass intended for Taekwon Thornton. Third down and three. Two minutes gone by second quarter. It's been all Oklahoma leading ten to nothing. Brewer changing direction, running out of time, and Murray clubbed him to the ground back at the 32-yard line. And Brewer very slow getting up off the field right now. All four of those lost starters were drafted in the first four rounds of the NFL. Look out! Hurts hit from behind, ball is loose, and it's picked up by Baylor. Now he Ron was... Bernard has the ball. James Lynch knocked it out. Now the question is, is it a fumble or a forward pass? The ruling on the field, a fumble recovered by the defense. You can see Lynch winning his one-on-one -on -one against Ely. Jalen Hurts did not see the pressure coming. He was loading up to throw the football. Taylor Bears, who were 1-11 two seasons ago, now 11-1, try to win the conference title. Brewer down the middle, short of his intended target Josh Fleeks as a red shirt freshman 13 out of 16 this season they've won several close games and Mayers has been a big factor in those wins and that one just sneaks inside the right upright dinosaurs roam the earth after a fast start a stagnant offense lately for Oklahoma and that continues as Jalen Hurts throws an interception picked off by Jordan Williams. Box number 84, he's going to slip and fall down. And when he gets back up, the underneath coverage was able to get in front of the throw and make the interception. Jordan Williams. That play didn't have a chance from the beginning because of the slip by Lee Morris. Elected to stay. He's being rewarded with an appearance of the championship game. Bohan in trouble. Sacked and the ball comes popping out. They're calling down. Mike DeFee's blowing the play dead and he is. Really on the field was the runner who was down by contact. 
throw the football away. Look how loose he is with the football, too. I mean, he's very lucky. Well, 23 yards of offense. If they can get into the locker room within four, that's a win for Baylor. They want more than that. Oh. To Touchdown, Baylor Bears! Tyquan Thornton! With the program in disarray, in Waco. They rush three again on third down and nine, and still Hurts forced to move. Now help comes on the rush, and he has to throw it away. In at cornerback now, far side of the field. Went with a quick snap. Oklahoma was not ready. They lined up quick, went quarterback sneak to get the first down. Third down and 11. Pressure brought by Oklahoma. The backup quarterback, Bohannon, just throws it straight up in the air, and it is caught! up here in the top. Bohannon looks in that direction, throws it too deep. Out of the back of the end zone, connected earlier from 44. This is a 28-yarder for the lead. And what a year he has had. And what a season Baylor has had. They have the lead with just 98 yards of offense. This Baylor defense. Jalen Hurts sidestep the rush, throws on the run, open man, Charleston Rambo taken out of bounds. But with a first down, Air Force and Alabama better on third down all year than Oklahoma. They convert on this one. Dumped off to Austin Stogner. program. And they've done the same sort of work here at Baylor. Nifty run, Ramon Gray Stevenson, the junior college transfer for Oklahoma, trailing 13 to 10. Jalen Hurts with great patience, and now he runs down to the six yard line. Takeaways. Burkich made all 15 field goals this season, and now 16 as he connects from 24 yards. That's the longest field goal streak to start a career. Starts to a career in college football history. He's 35 and 5 as the Oklahoma head coach defending third down and 10. Ronnie Perkins puts the pressure on. 25th career start. JT Woods is in for him. Jalen Hurts throws open CD Lamb out of bounds. First down in the Baylor territory at the 49 yard line. And they have completed the pass. He had a big 71 yard catch and run in the first half. Here's another big run. Ramonde Stevenson up and over. It was huge hole in this Baylor defense. Here's Stevenson. Known as a powerful runner, but showed some nifty maneuverability there. Taken down by Kalen Barnes, a sophomore cornerback, number 12. Goal range at the very least to try to reclaim the lead. They bring pressure, does Phil Snow. Hurts to the end zone, and it is caught! A twisting catch by Nick Basquin, and Oklahoma goes back on top. Looks like Murray's okay now, standing on the sideline. Bohannon, sacked, Jalen Redman got enough of him to get him down at the 28-yard line. The field in a major way, it's going to be hard to win. It looked like they were lined up and ready to go, but they're putting pressure on Hurts, who dumps it off to Kennedy Brooks with all kinds of running room down the far sideline. And a first down for Oklahoma to the 26. They are in field goal range to take a two-score lead. Hurts all day to throw against that three-man rush. Wide open. C.D. Lamb inside the 10. And dropped at the 7 by Blake Lynch. Long fake by Hurts into the end zone and off the hands of Braden Willis. Good coverage by Chris Miller. The big kick here for Burkich. He's made now all 17 kicks of his career, all 17 field goals. Try something different. He's only played one game in college, and it was last week, but why not? And he gets tripped up. Another play behind the line of scrimmage by the Oklahoma defense. It's Isaiah Thomas. Behind the line of scrimmage. Zeno. Nifty throw and a catch. Trusted wow. Ebner off to the races. Trusted Ebner to the end zone. Jacob Zeno. Just his fourth collegiate pass. They've all come. 
in the last two games. Three for three against Kansas last Saturday in Lawrence. And now a strike to Ebner. And it ends up an 81-yard touchdown. And they're right back in the game. They got much closer to the line to gain than the nine yards they have to make right now. They stick with a three-man rush. Hurts across the line, shoved out of bounds. A gain of a yard. True freshman Jacob Zito just entered the game. Showing off a strong arm, and he's on target again! It's Chris Platt! All the way to the 10-yard line! The kind of performance you put your name in the books forever. On the run, he throws too high. Looking for Chris Platt. Skyler Wetzel, the holder. The kick is good, right down the middle. And the featured back, Jeremiah Hall in there as well, number 27. They rush more people. Hurts in retreat, sets himself and fires! And it's C.D. Lamb! Oh, they're waving it off here. They're ready to mark the ball inside the 35, but the back judge emphatically came in and he got the call right. Um, 20 to 13 entering this fourth quarter. Get down. Zeno again. I mean, so many of these quarterbacks now come out of high school with these spread offenses. Right. They're never under center. A lot of times right. they arrive at college, they have to be taught how to take the snap from center. Neither team's going to stop it. And this Dr. Pepper Big 12 championship game with so much at stake, including the possibility of a spot in the college football playoff, will go to overtime. Jake Zeno, who just emerged out of literally nowhere. There's a face mask as C.D. Lamb caught the pass and then got spun around. Alabama and Oklahoma with excellent pass around him, obviously. Ramondre Stevenson, a touchdown for Oklahoma! Illinois <laughs> trying to make it tough for Jacob Zeno. Under pressure again and planted back at the 35-yard line. You'd see. They've had a magical season. They've had an unbelievable turnaround in just a couple of years. But they're down to one play to try to stay alive for the Big 12 title and the national championship picture. I think you got to get the quarterback out of the pocket. Maybe roll him to the field here. They rush four, drop everybody else, and they still get there. 